Well, tomato varieties are all in stock now. We have quite a few different cherry tomatoes. We have the yellow pear. We also have the red grape, uh, the sweet 100s or the super sweet cherry tomatoes. Uh, pretty much a farm favorite, uh, sun golds, so orange, really, really super juicy and very, very sweet. Kind of like candy in the sense of doesn't really taste like a tomato, but it is, but it's really sweet. So very nice one to have, especially for those that, you know, tomatoes are a bit of a struggle to eat. Uh, the indigo cherry is a new one this year. That'll give you like a darker fruit, a red cherry and then kind of all different mix of those dark and red colors on the same uh, vine there. And then we also have the black cherry, which is a black scented cherry tomato. That one there has a really nice tomato flavor. So that's a popular one also. We do have the San Marzano Roma tomatoes. We have the patio tomato, which is a thicker, sturdier trunk. Uh, you do still, it is best if you can put a cage around it or a stake, uh, but a much shorter trunk on it. It gives you a medium-sized tomato, so not the big full-size fruit, not a cherry. You still get, you still do get to slice it, so it gives you that aspect, but better suited to a container or one of those elevated raised beds where the depth is a little limited. So that's a nice one to have too. And next we have the heirloom selection. So we have the uh, ever popular Brandywine tomato. Then we've got the Cherokee purple, and that's right up there as far as popularity as well. Uh, black from Tula, it's a Russian heirloom, quite a lot of moisture or juice to that tomato. We have the Aunt Ruby's Green, which will grow you a green tomato there. Uh, Rutgers, that's a personal favorite. If you're after that heirloom flavor and uh, dependability as far as yield, the Rutgers has been around for quite a long time. <clears throat> so that kind of finishes up all of the heirlooms. Now to the hybrid varieties of tomatoes. So we have the Celebrity. We also have the Lemon Boy, so if, if you're after a yellow tomato, so a lower acid tomato with uh, still that tomato flavor, that's a great one to have. We have the Better Boy, the Big Boy, and the Big Beef, uh, the three uh, better biggers kind of thing, and then the Early Girl. So if you like the Early Girl variety for a little earlier harvest, we have that as well. So hopefully one of those are what you're after. Look forward to seeing you at the farm.